Hello, welcome to Red Men TV. We do some more daily news action with the two of us because it's been really, really good. <laughs> uh, it's been good. I've been enjoying it. People have seemed to be enjoying it. People have seemed to be enjoying having us accompany them on their morning stroke afternoon shit. Um, which is great. Sometimes both. It's awesome. Sometimes it's been both. Long. There was a, Did you notice after, after the big if you didn't watch the one on Friday, you won't get this, yeah. but um, the comments. We made a big you, I actually genuinely was. I'm having a, having a poo while I'm watching this now. Weird. That's really weird. Um, okay, we've got some news stories uh, and we're going to start to plough our way through them. The first one. Phones must be one of the most dirty things mustn't they? they? They get used everywhere. Phones and toilet handles, uh, door handles and toilets. Yeah, and apparently free mints that they give out in restaurants by the by the till. Oh yeah, you don't know. It's like peanuts in the bar, isn't it? You just don't do that. Like peanuts in the bar. Um, Marco Grugic. Does your phone smell of poo? <laughs> Matt no. saying that though. But I want to know anyone in the comments below. Anyone, first and foremost, how many people have dropped the phone down the toilet? There we go. No, you no, no, Tom, never. Come on, Come on Tom, you break your screen every week. Phones? Tom, you've broken seven phones Not in the last phone. year. I don't know, I'm just saying, don't give me the look after your phone <laughs> shit when you've broken seven phones in the last 12 months. Has anyone uh, been unlucky enough to drop now, it in? Now, next question. We've had four of the five people in the room who've dropped the phone down the toilet. Hands up who's dropped it down the toilet while there's been... It's unflushed, shall we say. <laughs> yeah? No? I you've all been have, lucky? I haven't. I, I, and I know that I haven't. I've been... My reactions are pretty good. <laughs> now, I and they also override most things. Hang on, let me finish. They override most things. I put my hand down before I even checked if it was in use or it was the tavern toilet. It was disgusting, the taverns. Tom knows the tavern oh, staff the, toilet. The upstairs. Oh, yeah, oh, horrific, it was yeah. there. But it was on one of those rare occasions when there wasn't half a toilet roll and a shit in it. Okay. But if there was half a toilet roll and a shit in it, I'd have grabbed that shit by its little neck trying to find my phone. Now, I'm amazed that you've not because you have got you have got good reactions, but your reactions tend to be what happened. I'll give you a, a, a physical demonstration of oh. how Chris does things. He goes, yeah, he goes, <laughs> and that's that's pretty much how you ca that. But catch that was pretty good. Like, uh, so I've seen Chris. I'd play pool and do and chip up a ball by mistake, try to catch it, have it roll along the lights. <laughs> And they catch it at the bottom, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm amazed. It's but no, I did. I I did. I dropped the phone down the toilet, unflushed. Just wait, just. Um, and I did have that at that moment of, is it worth it? Do I just flush? And if it goes, it goes. <laughs> so no, I I did have to go for it, and then I, you know I I, I had to it was, it was fucked. So I had to I had to rinse it out regardless. It wasn't getting any wetter, but at least it was clean water washing over it. I rinsed it, and then I was in that unfortunate position where I was really poor, and then I had to deal with a phone that, although it was clean by this point, it's never really. It's, clean, it's a it? psychological thing. Um, but I, I, speaking of psychological things, Jurgen Klopp uh, spoke nice to a three-man panel in a Manchester hotel to convince them that uh, Marco Grugis deserved a work permit at Liverpool. No, was, I didn't realise that this was a sticky no, situation. Um, <coughs> uh, as, as all that but yeah apparently he, he had to go and say how important a player he was going to be and obviously make a case for the fact that he was going to play apparently the last time we had to do that uh, was in 2013 and the player was Suarez maybe Philip Coutinho Philip Coutinho really? yeah, we had to make a case for him getting his wear pair because interesting too young and not enough caps and all that kind of stuff are we going to get worse with Brexit oh yes um, so yeah so uh, please Please with that. Now, apparently, he's got to, in order for it to come into effect, he's got to re enter the country. So he's got to, he's got to leave, leave the country, to, leave the country yeah. to come on a to, different visa to come back. So he, um, there's thought that he might not be available for the Tramia game on, on the Friday, but at least it's sorted. I'm, You've I'm reminded pleased. me though, I need to sort our visas for America. Yeah, the, yeah. S, the yeah, STAs. Yeah, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, I so, that. um, yeah, if you haven't heard that before, we're coming to America. Uh, if you're going to be at either the... To talk about poo. The and, L and, yeah, <laughs> and football. <laughs> Come to as you do. You to talk about flushed phones. Um, yeah, so if you go on the game in LA or in San Fran, get in touch and we'll come up and have a bevy with you before the match or whatever and probably probably do a bit of work as well. Um, yeah, I, like I say... It's, it's a really good, good to Klopp. I mean, A, it's nice to actually hear what he thinks of him because yeah. we've, we've been talking all summer long about Grudich, haven't we? Whether he's actually going to get games. The fact that Klopp's done that, he obviously... You can't lie to them because the next time it comes around, 
You need to save face, don't you? you need, he needs to actually yep. play Grujic and stuff. And you know, bar an injury, it'd be nice to know that he's so well thought of. We've spent what was it, five point one million on the kid or something, something like, like that. that. So um, it's good to know that he's going to feature in the in the side. And yep. I wonder what that does for Milner's place in the in the squad and whether what that means for him. Because I, I don't know how big move, isn't how it? much it means in general. Because what's he going to do? Go, nah, listen, he's only going to play about 10 games <coughs> next season. Oh, well, well, you can't have a way of for him. You're going to have to stick him out on loan for a year. Yeah, but what happens the next time it comes around? Do you know what I mean? And then and Klopp's already been and lied to them. Oh, true, true. But I, my suspicion is... I don't actually. I don't know how how it works and how long you get it. How long you get it for? Is it a yearly renewed kind of thing? I don't know. If anyone knows more on this, let me know in the comments. I suspect he's probably thinking. He's probably he's probably going to ease him in this year one way or another. But you need to make a case. He's probably made the case for him saying, he's, you know, he's got a big future at the club. So over the over the coming years, he's going to be a big part of it. Whereas no guarantees necessarily that means. He's starting 30 games this season or whatever, but interesting nevertheless. Um, Sergi Canos, he's not gone. <laughs> Although we pretty much talked like he was the other week. I think it was a sub show, thankfully. It was a sub show. Um, not if you pay money for accuracy. <laughs> um, so, uh, Sergi Canos, £2.5 million pound bid from Norwich. We've accepted. I've been much happier with him going to Norwich than I would Bristol City. Why? Because I like Jack Reeve from Talk Norwich City. That's pretty much it. No, because I think because <laughs> I, I, I look I, I, Bristol, <laughs> Bristol have never been in the Premier League. It's as simple as that. Norwich, although they very they don't stay in the Premier League for long, they're a yo-yo club, aren't they? So you know they'll be they'll be back up. And I, so I kind of like there's a I think there's a there's a there's a decent chance that Norwich could come back up, or they'll be back up within two years. And if that's the case, there's a potential that could mean more money for Liverpool, or it's good for the career of Sergi Canos. So I'd rather him go. Okay, Everybody. yeah, that, that makes sense. Like, I think, you know, I'd, I'd love to know the intricacies of this deal because he sounds like one of those players that you should be putting a buyback on. Well, we said this. I don't know whether that's still the case because the talk was that the Bristol deal included a buyback. Now, we've <coughs> accepted the same amount of money. But does it have a buyback? Does exactly. it have any sell-on um, clauses and all that type of stuff? Yeah, It'd be I would, interesting to find out. It would be it? very interesting. I, I would suspect if we've accepted another bid, you wouldn't Similar. accept a worse a worse bid, would you? Is my is my thing. Unless, no, no, no. unless uh, you know, going back to Championship Manager and Footy Manager, Bristol have spread it over eighteen months, yeah. and Norwich have come in cash, and you're like, twenty four okay, months. So. Oh no, uh, yeah. So it's a possibility, but yeah, there we go. The it's been ten years to the day since we signed Fabio Aurelio. It's mad, isn't it? It is. That's a long time. And it's ago. another left back birthday. Moreno, very good. I think he's in the calendar. He is. Um, so, He's born in 92. I want to ask people a question. We want to do a poll. Um, so, whoever's responsibility it is to put polls in, like like someone, Tom, didn't last time. Um, I want to ask you in the poll, which is your favourite Aurelio free kick? Is it the Old Trafford one or is it the Stamford Bridge one? Because I, I, you immediately go, Old Stafford, absolutely. But the Stamford Bridge one was like Gary Mack esque. It was miles out. He had no right to score, and and it was past Petr Cech. It, yeah. It was well, a, if the poll's there, I'm going to vote in it, and I'm going to vote Man United because it's it's against them. Well, I'm going to vote Stamford Bridge. I forgot what the options were for a second. I'm not. I'll, I'll, I won't. I'll be doing other things. But you should get involved by clicking the poll, by clicking the eye. Anyway, <laughs> last bit of news and the big bit of news, and probably what we should have just talked about instead of talking about poo phones and stuff. Um, yesterday evening, it was revealed that Crystal Palace have, have upped their bid for Christian Benteke. Now everyone was reporting it as 31.5 million, and a few people went. Um, <coughs> those exact reactions. And at £31.5 million, pound, Chris, I would probably have a similarly um, effeminate, over-the-top reaction. However, it's actually apparently 27 up to 31.5 with add-ons. And even then, I, I then read, I, I don't know if it was James Pearce who put it, or someone else put, that's actually, or maybe it was Ed Mallion from the Mirror, said apparently that's all coming from Liverpool. That it, and they're making the deal sound like it favours Liverpool more, whereas apparently from the Palace end, they they think it's actually they're saying that it's actually less than that. Where do you stand? Where do you stand on what would you what would you be looking to accept for Benteke? Ah, that's a completely different question to the one you started asking. I think. What did I start asking? I thought you were going to ask well, like what's a good deal for Liverpool Football Club, but it's essentially the same thing. 
Yeah, it is, but I thought you were going to talk about the spin side of things a little bit more. Like, is that Liverpool going to be spinning the deal so that it sounds good and Palace? I think... 16 years? Yeah, OK. If, if you, if, don't, don't second guess me. So we've got... <laughs> I think, honestly, it yeah. depends what Liverpool are looking to do with the money. Uh -huh. You know, if there's no one to spend it on right now, hold out a little bit longer. That's yeah. absolutely fine. If you've got someone lined up for 25 million and you need 25 million coming in, go go and get 25 million. Yeah, I think uh, for me, I'm just of the opinion that we've told them it's 30, and I get what they're trying to do because it's the exactly like before it's the champ manager thing. You haven't really, you don't really want to spend that amount of money. The 4.5 million add-ons are based on like you are getting into Europe, doing X, Y, and Z. We're never going to see the full, the full whack of money. So as much as it's like nice and it's like, oh look what we're saying, I, I'd be like, no, just get it. It's, it's three million more. Find that extra three million. Get to the thirty that we wanted, and you can have them. It's as, it's as simple as that. Thirty is bloody good because at the end of the day, he's gone down in value from Aston Villa. Has he though? Yeah, he has. Given that, given that, you know, I suppose. I mean, he still not, scored. He's not scored as many goals. No, but not by much. He's not managed to force his way into a side past the twenty-two-year-old when they've been fit. True. He's not managed to do it in your in the Euros. He's not increased. He's not stayed the same. He has gone down. In yeah. Value. I suppose, but also when you consider that the fact that transfer fees in general are being inflated. I'm not surprised that we're going to end up more or less with what we what we pay for, which I guess is which I guess is a good thing. But uh, I, I again, I, I'm, I'm, I kind of agree with what you said at the start of it. Is the but a bit more aggressively, kind of like fuck it, you know, fuck it, fuck them. Because if they've got money to spend, <coughs> we we've got money to spend. We're in no hurry to to sell. We've done. We've concluded most of our transfer business. That'd be a nice, it's a nice bit. As you say, unless there's a shortening window. To get that money spent on someone, in which case, yeah, just get, just get it over just, the line. Just get it done. But yeah, let us know your thoughts on that. Would you be biting the hand off for 27 million plus add ons, or would you be holding out for a little bit more? Uh, we've done a an incredible, fantastic, wonderful, amazing subscriber show so far this week, the pre season preview special. Looking ahead to all of Liverpool's pre season games, what we want from them, which players we think are going to prove themselves, which we think that are in the last chance saloon, and a couple, a little bit of chat on who's. Basically, not it's Balotelli. Um, <laughs> I'm actually, amongst others. But yeah, fantastic show. Tom, do you remember how long it was? 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Um, there was four of us on the couch, full in depth and detail. It's on the redmentv.com. Go and check it out now. It's completely free for your first month trial. What else are you going to do?